The Low Power Image Recognition Challenge, LPIRC, is an annual competition organized by IEEE since 2015. In 2018, the fourth LPIRC will be held in June with CVPR in the Salt Lake City. There are three tracks using TF Light models, T102 and CAF2. The third track has no restriction and participants can bring any system. Over the three years, many teams have participated in LPIRC. The winner's scores improve more than 600%. This is quite impressive accomplishments. On March 21, 2018, first three LPIRC winners got together and presented their solutions. Let us listen to what they say about the experience participating in LPIRC. The first speaker is Mr. Jing Cheng Yu, representing Tsinghua University, the winner of 2015 LPIRC. Thanks for the LPIRC competition and uh, I in entered this competition at uh, 2015 and I studied the basic idea of CNN and the image detection and um, the image detection is very basic f function in, in many applications and uh, I have already um, introduced the these techniques to the applications and, uh, and uh, some industrial application used the our solutions and I feel very happy about this and I hope the LPIRC be much more better be much better and uh, that's okay. okay thank you Th thank you again the second speaker is professor Yi Wang representing Chinese Academy of Science the winner of 2016 LPIRC Thanks to the LPIRC uh, organization gave me the chance of attending this challenge. Uh, actually, uh, nowadays the deep learning, uh, especially, um, pop hot especially hot topics in these days, and it's all about the soft. Actually, um, uh, previously uh, there are it, it's it's, a, it's the playground for software guys, uh, not for the hardware or architecture uh, researchers. Now LPIRC RC gave, gave me uh, the chance as a, a hardware engineer to think about how to devise our own low-power object detection solutions, and, and, and so we can uh, we can apply some of our ideas uh, in this um, context. And I think it's it's a great inspiration for us to uh, to to explore some new uh, hardware level idea to uh, to um, propel the development of uh, intelligent systems. Thank you. The third speaker is Mr. Dong Hyun Kang, representing Seoul National University, the winner of 2017 LPIRC. Hello, I'm Dong Hyun Kang, and I am you know, last year's LPIRC winner. Um, I'm so grateful that the LPRC gave us uh, such a great chance to have a pretty practical, pretty practical challenge. Then let me introduce how our team achieved that good result in the last year's challenge. First, uh, we uh, we selected our Justin TS2 as a hardware as a hardware platform. <laughs> Sorry. That because it is not only easy to implement deep learning software, but also has a great performance in, ter in terms of uh, energy efficiency. Then we chose uh, Tiny Yellow as, uh, as the image recognition uh, algorithm because it shows uh, an outstanding performance on uh, various algorithms. Subsequently, we also applied uh, se several, <laughs> several uh, optimization, optimization techniques to the network. To begin it, we observed that uh, CPU-based CPU version and uh, GPU-based version 
are running sequentially in the network. Thus, we could parallelize them with pipelining. Then we could reduce a large amount of the execution time. Then we tried using uh, Tucker decomposition and half <laughs> precision plot floating point, point, point representation to enhance the speed of the network. But however, we also found that the techniques, the techniques don't, do not always guarantee the speed up. So from the, from the layer-wise profile result, uh, we, we, apply, we determine uh, whether to apply the techniques uh, in each layer or not. Lastly, uh, we uh, we selected a uh, GPU and CPU frequency uh, frequency to uh, to compromise with the uh, energy consumption and also also optimize the client program to uh, to deal with uh, timing constraints. Finally, we could win the raster year change with those methods. Thank you.